it's really easy to record in Camtasia Relay. So let me show you some of its basic features. I'm going to record a simple video and then publish it to MediaMail. First, I have to log in to my Camtasia Relay account. The URL for this site is classrecording.oit.uman.edu slash relay. I'll use my U of M Internet ID and password to log in. Next, I'll have to download a new recorder. So I'm going to go to Download Recorders, and I'm on the Mac, so I'll select that option. I'm going to launch the recorder. Cantisha Relay 4 will adjust your microphone and camera automatically, but I suggest running a short test first by clicking on the blue test button just to make sure that everything is working. I will only be recording my screen. I won't be recording a video of myself today, although it is a nice feature. Keep in mind that your whole desktop will be recorded, so set up your desktop view appropriately. Under Presentation Details are your publishing profile choices. And profiles are basically places where the system can publish to. I already have the media mail profile set up following instructions on the support site. So I'll just choose Publish to Media Mail. You can type the title for your recording. And I'm going to click Record. I'll get a three second countdown. And I'm recording now. When done, go back to Camtasia Relay and hit the Stop button. Back in Camtasia Relay, I can play my video to review it. I can also trim the edges. So I'm going to click Trim. Then I'm going to put my playhead where I want my video to begin. And I'm going to click the in point. Then I'm going to put this playhead where I want my video to end. And I'll click the out point button. At this point, I can either submit it or discard the recording. If I discard it, it is gone. So I'll submit. And it's giving me a warning that the trimmed edges will be permanently lost. I'm OK with that. So this is it. The recording is made and it's being relayed to MediaMail, just as I stated in my profile choice. I can now process it there. I can share it or create any number of versions in different formats. So I hope this was helpful in understanding some of the basic features of Camtasia Relay. Please check out the resources listed here for further help.